Hi, I'm Matt Shade Tech. I'm a producer and DJ based in Brooklyn, New York. I'm also the senior logic instructor for DubSpot and for DubSpot Online. In this video, I want to talk about some composition basics in Logic. This one is going to be a little bit more of a basic video geared towards people who are just getting started with composing in Logic and trying to come up with some melodies and bass lines and chords and things like that to go with their beats. And what we're going to look at is how to take a simple idea, in this case a three chord progression, and use that to build out all of the other elements in our track. Now, I've got a couple of sounds in here. I've made a little example track. And in the next video in this series for the DubSpot channel, I'm going to go into how I created some of those sounds. And that's going to be a little bit more of an advanced focus on sound design. So stay tuned for that. So I've created a little example track. I'll just play it for you quickly so you can hear what I'm on. And then we'll go through and dissect it a little bit. So that gives you a little little taste there. And uh, I was going for a kind of like a lo-fi, kind of like hazy 808 kind of vibe. Could be cool for like a rapper or for a singer or, or just as an instrumental. Now, okay, so let's take a look at what we've got in here. So we've got a couple of parts. We've got this, a lot of these sounds are made with the ES2 synthesizer. And we're gonna talk about how we made those in the next video, but let's just take a look at what's in here. So we've got this. That's our kind of pad sound made with the ES2, our, our starting chords. Then we've got this. Little lead. There is the sub bass. We've got some drums. These are all just 808 sounds. And then over here, we've got a little sculpture, kind of second lead, some like vibes. And lastly, just a little, some little noise that I'm just using as a uh, kind of like instead of a crash symbol. Okay, so I started by playing in this chord progression, and then what I did was I used that to derive my other parts, right? So if we look, for example, down here at this octave vibes part, what I did here was I just took my chord progression and turned it into 16th notes, and I'll show you how to do that in a moment, muted them all, and then just unmuted certain notes to come up with the line, right? So if we play them together, We can see they sort of follow each other. So let's just go through how to do that real quick. So what I'm going to do is go track, new with same channel strip. I'm just going to use this same instrument here. 
I'll pull down my chord progression. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all the notes using Command A. You can also do Edit, Select All. Go into Functions, and in the Transform menu here, I'm going to use this Fixed Note Length function. And what that's going to do, by default, it's set to a 16th note. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit Select and Operate. And what that does is just makes the, shortens all these notes into 16th notes really quickly. And so now what I'm going to do is take these guys and just drag them over to the next 16th note position. And I'm doing that by holding down the Option key and dragging. Now, these, I'm just going to select them all and then just drag those over, fill that out, and then this one. I'm just going to drag this over. And this is a sound using uh, Sculpture, Logic's physical modeling synthesizer. It's actually a preset, this Octave Vibes preset. But uh, I love this synth. It's got such a rich sound. So now we've got this. Which is, you know, maybe you want that in your song, but I don't think that's going to work for me. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and just select all again. And then just hit the M key to mute. And now I've got this kind of grid of notes that are all going to fit with my chord progression. And I can just kind of play around in here. And I'm just shift clicking on these to add notes to my selection. I'm just going to do something a little bit random here. But just to show you kind of that you can quickly come up with a melody this way. And then just hit M again to unmute those. That doesn't sound too awesome, right? I think what I was doing was this guy, this guy. Something like, something like this, if I remember. Man, I can't remember if I was going up there or what, but... Anyway, you can just kind of play around in there and find something that you like. And oh, that's what I did. I went down. OK, so here this is kind of worth looking at. Right. So I wanted to do this. Keep the keep the line going downward. Right. But you can see here this note is not in the chords. So here what I'm doing is kind of leading us into the next chord. So I'm actually using one of the notes from the next chord to come this C3. And so I just took this guy and just pulled him down there to kind of lead us to that chord. Everything else in here is actually inside the chords that existed already, and that brought us to this. And you know, you could just kind of trial and error in there and find some nice stuff that you like. That's definitely what I did. But it could be a nice way to create some additional parts that are definitely going to fit inside your chord progression and be in key. And I did the same thing for this saw lead. In this case, if we select these two together, you can see here. And I used a couple of notes here. You see these A notes. These are actually not inside that chord, but they are in this last chord, right? So if you want to grab other notes, if you're trying to kind of move somewhere and it's not in the chord, just go ahead and grab from another note in your chord progression. I think I did the same thing here, right here. I'm kind of leading us to this chord, pulled this note in. And then I've got the same thing going for the bass, right? In this case, I'm just using the, if I remember correctly, I think it's the root notes of the chord, the bottom notes, so it's E. So if you want to see two regions together, you can just shift click on them or just select them at the same time. And so here, yeah, so I've got E, C, right? So I'm just using the, the lowest notes in the chords. And then here I used not the lowest one. I went up to G because in this case, I didn't want to just stay on that C. So I've moved up there. And so as a result, we end up with something like this. So we've got all those parts fitting together nicely and working in that same progression. And of course, then if you want to go in and you could play some more keyboard over it or add in some parts that aren't in the progression or 
get more fancy, but for if you're just starting out, this can be a nice way to start and just kind of keep things simple. So I hope this was helpful for you. If you want to learn more techniques like this, you can check out our online course at dubspot.com or you can come and join us at our school in Manhattan where I teach classes. And if you want to learn more about me and my music, you can check me out at mattshadetech.com. I've got a new album coming out early next year, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. Welcome to DubSpot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.